hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix the issue with gray zone warfare whenever you launch the game you got the error failed to load scala.dll let's fix it guys go to search menu and type geforce experience click on open it if you not have installed geforce experience then you just need to check my video description for the download link for amd users you just need to open the amd software select the drivers tab and select check for updates if you have any available update listed over here then you just need to update it and make your graphics card up to date guys after doing this just close up here and launch the game and check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the second method guys you just need to go to search menu and type cmd right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator and select yes now you just need to check my video description for this command used in my video just copy it tap the bar right click eject and paste it in and press enter the operation completed successfully this will help you to enable the aux and can help you to fix the problem guys just to close it off here and launch the game and check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the third method guys the third method is to update visual c plus plus to do this you just need to check my video description for this link used in my video scroll down depending on how much bit you have you just need to select the link and download it this is for 32 bit link and this is for 64 bit link after getting download done you just need to install the visual c plus plus guys after getting installed done you just need to go ahead and restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the fourth method guys the fourth method is to update windows to do this go to search menu and type windows update comes up windows update settings click on open it select check for updates and if you have any available update listed over here then you just need to update it and make your operating system up to date after doing this just to close stuff here i hope one of these method fixed your problem guys if the video helped you don't forget to leave a like guys you can also subscribe me and support me guys thank you